Oh, we got a Howard section next. Exciting. Howie, it's cold. Yes, Larry, it is cold. I would like to not be cold, Howard. We'll get back inside soon enough, Larry. And what exactly are we doing before that again? Oh, my mouse cursor disappeared. There you go, that's better. I can actually see now. Uh, all right, for your final project. Well, let's try to do this as fast as possible. I got a lead on a place in Yale Town that could be perfect for us. Figured we could swing by on our way back. There it is, the ulterior motive. <laughs> it's not an ulterior motive it's, if it's for both of us I just want to help you finish this project so you'll stop putting off our hunt for an apartment we need to settle on something fast before all the good ones get taken I'm not putting it off dude every time I try to show you a place you find some lame excuse why it's not good enough I mean I want a nice place too but we gotta find something I relate to Larry. Also, Larry's a brown raccoon, like me. Listen to Larry, Howard. Larry knows what he's doing. What if we can't find a new one, though? We'll just have to take one of the bad ones, then. Just know that any time you complain about the place I'm going to remind you, it's your fault for dragging your feet. Let's just get back to taking pictures, okay? Yeah, sorry. It just gets me nervous. Let's get to work. Yeah. So, this final project of yours, where do we start? Right here. Grandfather Steam? Sure. That That's it, though? Just one snap and we're gone? No, I think we need more than that. Some surrounding shots to build the mood, show off Gas Town for what it really is. What do you have in mind? Uh, I don't know. Portraits? Hey. That's settled, then. Where do you want to start? Let's start with the portraits. Yeah, might as well, considering the state of the clock. Yeah, I noticed. Looks like one of its hands is missing. Weird. Think it fell off? No clue. What do we do now? Uh, yeah. I can't see it anywhere on the ground, so chances are someone made off with it. We should ask around. Oh man, we get to play detective? <laughs> I guess how he's excited about that. <laughs> Just a little bit a little bit looking forward to uh being able to snoop around. Go figure. It's in his character. I guess so. Ready to go? Ready. Alright. We have a few more uh interactables here. What is what exactly is our goal? I guess we need to look around. John, where's the carrot? We're almost done! Don't matter. Some copper's gonna take it all down before tomorrow morning anyway. No way. We built it too sturdy for that. They'd need, like, big shovels and hammers to knock this one over. Yeah, ain't no way they're knocking this one down. <laughs> Psh, then it'll just melt. Point is, it won't be here tomorrow. It'll melt before it's done anyway, at this pace. Sean, get the dang carrot. That's cute. So one of the things I, I learned about this game is that it takes place in Vancouver, Canada. So uh, this is actually an area I've been to and I actually recognize this part of town. The goddess isn't real, is she? Of course she is. She's as real as they come. Nuh-uh. Shut up, Paul. You're just trying to rile us up. No, I'm not. Goddess is as real as you and me, and she loves sneaking up on little children, keeping into their bedrooms at night, biting their toes off. <laughs> yeah. I said shut up, Paul. Even if she was real, she'd only be coming from mean boys like you. That's what Mom said. I like Howie's little idle animation there. Got thrown out last time I tried to take pictures in here. Guess they really don't want anyone taking pictures of their clientele. Wonder why. Pricey. You could buy an apartment for less than what this place would charge to furnish you it. 
and should charge you to furnish it. Yeah. What do you want? I didn't say anything. Yeah, but you're all up in our space, so I'm gonna ask you again. What do you want? I was hoping I could ask you a few questions. Yeah. Uh-huh. About that clock over there. That shitty steam thing? What about it? A hand's missing. Any idea who did it? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? I'm not some old biddy staring out my window trying to keep track of the neighborhood. I drink and smoke and screw. Sounds pretty tight. <laughs> Sounds pretty tight. Dude, stop. You're really embarrassing yourself. If you can't handle my vibes, just say so. <laughs> not for the reason you think I can't, you fucking dork. Uh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Are you done asking weird questions now? I want to ask you about something else. Can I take a picture of you guys? Ah, uh, I knew you were a creep. Called it the second you walked by with that hop head. There is not a hop head. Oh, come off it, piss boy. Your pals, your pals keeps eyeing that back alley like he's expecting it to do magic. Exact same way you've been eyeing us. I'm not a piss boy, I'm an artist. What? Well, at least you're honest. Tell you what, you hook us up with some smokes, we'll take whatever creep photo you want. Deal? Where am I supposed to get smokes? You're a big boy, figure it out. Anything else? Nah, I'm out. Alright, so I gotta buy smokes for some teenagers, seems like. Uncle Lewis. Exclamation point. <laughs> That's a lot of booze. Somehow I doubt they've got a student discount on beer, though. Gucci's Reads. Looks like they've got all sorts of knickknacks besides books, too. Hmm? Oh, Leona, please don't pout. Maybe Mama will be able to buy you a toy next solstice, or the one after next. Now let's head home. It's a long way back to the West End. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Are you eavesdropping on us? <laughs> Look at this, like, f this little uh, otter-ass face. It's so cute. Why are they wearing a fox mask, though? That's interesting. Fox and what looks like maybe a dog? Yes. Well, at least you admit it. I suppose you find something amusing about a struggling mother who can't afford to buy a simple toy for a baby girl? These aren't simple toys. They're wildly overpriced. because Probably because this is the wealthiest, wealthiest area of town. Oh, I suppose you think my daughter and I shouldn't even step foot outside our little hovel in the West End. Can't have his pores upsetting the gas town gentry with our tattered rags, can we? Eh, it just seems strange is all. Sorry if I made you feel unwelcome. You think words are going to make up for this? Words are cheap. Words are nothing. If you really want to make it up to us, go in there and get my daughter a nice proper toy. And don't forget the receipt. I can't afford that. I'm just a student and a poor one at that. A student, huh? I suppose I should have guessed from the clothes. I still want to help. I don't see how you could, unless you want to hand over that camera. What would you need a camera for? Oh, you think just because we're poor, we don't know how to use a camera? Leona happens to be smart. Very smart. She'd probably take better pictures than you could. Give it to her and see. Sorry, I can't afford to lose yeah. it. Ugh, never mind. Just leave us alone if you're not going to help. Wait, I want to ask you a few questions. Yeah, what? I'd like to know a bit more about you. What do you want to know? Where do you live? A squalid little hole in West End. It's a studio, but luckily we only have to share it with four other people. That doesn't sound lucky at all. My mother and father are both very sick, so we have to look after them. And my brother and his daughter, they're sick as well. What do you mean by sick? Well, my parents are both pretty fa frail, so they need constant tending. And my brother threw out his back at work a few years back and is basically bedridden. My niece has a bit of a runny nose. Is there anything I can do to help? The only thing that really brings me pleasure anymore is seeing my baby girl smile. Maybe one of those toys in theirs would do the trick. Wish I could. Maybe if you pawn that camera of yours, might even have something left over for yourself. <laughs> Can we change the subject? What? So, what's up with the masks? It's for the winter solstice. Protects us from the goddess's trickery. 
And the way things have been going, we need all the protection we can get. You really think a mask is gonna help? It's not just that. Wearing masks lets us lets us the chance to pretend. Let's us have the chance to pretend we're different people. People who can afford to live in this area. People who can celebrate the solstice through the giving of gifts. Alright. Let's talk more about you. What brings you to the neighborhood? Oh, um, Leona wanted to get some fresh air, and the West End isn't exactly the safest place for a woman and her child. Gastown seemed like a safer option. Ah, makes sense. So why is it so important that you get a toy for Leona? Maybe you don't think she deserves it, but I just want Leona to have something that's close to a normal childhood. Toys are a big part of that. Hmm, people love saying nice stuff like that. Doing something, though, that's very rare. I'm going to do something. Let's change the subject then. People don't say that unless they mean it. My baby girl's had her heart broken so many times. All right. <laughs> Can I take a picture of you and your daughter? Picture? How much are you gonna pay us? Nothing, it's just for a class assignment. I'm not going to let my daughter be exploited. I'm gonna need some kind of offering to make it worth her while. I, uh don't really have anything <laughs> you know what I want a nice toy for my little girl the fancier the better you get that then you'll get your picture but hurry up the last bus back to Granville's a couple hours and Leona hates to walk wait didn't you say you lived on the West End <laughs> fuck um no wait uh, we're uh we have to stop at Granville because <laughs> look I don't have an answer I don't have to answer to you Wait, are you con artists? Shut up, shut up. Winter solstice is one of our biggest days of the year and I'm not going to have some art school brat ruin that for us. I think this art school brat is going to ruin it for you. All right, what do you want? A fucking picture? Fine, take your fucking picture. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh, and it saved a high-resolution screenshot. It just told me. <laughs> there. Now, if you wind up selling that, expect a three-way split. Don't worry. No one's gonna buy this. Pfft, cheapskate. So are we done here or what? Yeah. See ya. <laughs> I like those characters. That's fun. Geezers. <laughs> Observe the geezers to identify their leader. The geezers seem mostly to regard each other as equals, bumping, honking, and sho shoving against each other when deemed appropriate to do so. Surely they have a leader, though. Continuous observation reveals what appears to be some notion of gerontocratic rule. That's the rule of older uh, beings. Older geezers, a large graying one, a the eldest of the geezers, a large graying one, appears to be treated with more respect than the others. All geese are equals, it seems, but some more than others. I'll bear that in mind. Might be useful information. The geezers regard you with suspicion, but soon return to their scheduled gutter picking. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you geezers something. Mind if I take a picture of you? The heads of the geezers shoot up in surprise, but soon enough return to their waddling and gutter picking. They're spread out for good picture anyway. Appeal to the eldest geezer. Excuse me, sir. The eldest geezer pauses, lifting its head and regarding you carefully for a moment. It nods regally as if allowing you to speak. Would your highness be interested in having his portrait taken? <laughs> the gerontocratic geezer gestures gently as if having considered and approved your request. It lets out a noble honk, amassing the other geezers around, uh, around it. Looking at it, it would make a very nice group picture. I like how one of them has a mask on its butt. That's kind of cute. <laughs> honk honk. Mm, great. Geezer pick. The geezers congratulate each other on being so photogenic. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. You guys know about that clock over there? <laughs> Never mind, actually. I'll leave you to it. Got to talk to some geese. Raf says, I have a new phone. I can emulate shit that's not DS games now. Good for you, Raf. Emulation's great. 
best shakes in Gastown. God, I would kill for a shake right now. I'm gonna text brew that. I'm gonna say, pick me up a milkshake on your way home from the post office. He's picking up money orders so that we can rent our house. All right, let's see. Taylor, the mannequins in there are better dressed than I am. Is he smoking a cigarette? Ooh. He is. <laughs> Lincoln, service entrance is out back. Is that your standard greeting for my kind? No offense, kid. Our kind doesn't have business in this neighborhood unless it's, well, business. We're not the same kind, friend. <laughs> We are as far as the apes are concerned, at least until we land enough dough that we can give them a reason to pretend otherwise. So if you're not here for work and what are you doing here? Recon for the revolution. Don't even joke about that, kid. I've seen guys disappear for saying less. You mean like killed? Mm. No, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they just lose their jobs. Maybe they get sent away for something else. It's just, it's smart to watch what you're saying. That's all. Hail apes. I wouldn't go that far, but you should keep uh, that should keep you out of harm's way at least. So what are you doing around here if you're not working? I'm working on a photography project for university. Hmm. Good for you, kid. I mean, it might not lead to anything, but it's always nice to know you gave it a shot. No regrets. What kind of pictures you take? I haven't decided yet. Best way to be. Never paint yourself into a corner. I learned to fix every type of clock this city has to offer, and even with that, work's still pretty tight. Interesting. Mind if I ask you any questions? Mm -hmm. What's on your mind? Uh, can I have some of those smokes, man? Smokes? I, I don't know. How old are you, kid? Old enough to tell when someone's shirking work. <laughs> you got a pack of cigarettes, hell yeah. You really got an attitude, don't you, kid? All right, here you go, but you didn't get them from me, all right? Thanks, another mm -hmm. thing. Let's talk a little about you. I noticed you have a mask. Winter solstice. Folks around here really eat that shit up. I'm more interested in the type of mask you're wearing. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean-spirited here. If anything, it's a celebration of your kind. And how exactly are you celebrating my kind? He's wearing raccoon face. <laughs> Just picking it, you know? I mean, they had all kinds of kind down there at the costume shop. Doesn't it say something that this was the one I chose? Just curious why you picked raccoon. No real reason? <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe next year I could wear a mask of my own kind. Yeah, no one would suspect it's me under something like that. I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> Let's talk about something Ooh. else. How about that clock over there? Oh, uh, yes. Grandfather Steam. What about it? One of the hands is missing. Any idea what might have happened? Come to think of it, I did see those punk kids snickering, or snickering around it earlier. Bet it's them. What punks? Ah, uh, you'll know them when you see them. Shitty clothes, shittier attitudes. Stick out like a sore thumb in these parts. Understood. I want to ask you about something else. Can I take a picture of you? A picture? No, I don't look so good in pictures. Come on, man. Anything I can do to change your mind? Hmm, well, there's one thing you could do. Here, in this envelope. I need you to destroy it for me. Uh, what is it and why? Mm. I stole it from the building manager's mailbox. I saw a tenant and I had an ar a argument would drop it off and figured it was going to be a letter of complaint. Turns out it was just a winter solstice card. Now I have to destroy this thing, but I can't get risk getting caught. Was there money inside that card? Mm -hmm. What? What do you take me for? I didn't... I mean, yeah, there might have been a gift certificate, but it's not like... That's not money. It's basically a coupon. Show me the gift certificate. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. It was cash. Fifty dollars. You happy? Hardly anything. Considering how much that building manager's been screwing me on supplies, that barely makes us even. Was it really only 50 bucks? Mm. 
All right, listen, let's make a deal. I'll take whatever photo you want, so long as we keep this between us. If word gets out, I'll be ruined. Work's already hard to come by as it is. Oh, I'd rather not be involved with something this sordid, but if you insist. Please, just hurry up and take the photo. <laughs> this character's fun. <laughs> That's it? You done? Nice camera, by the way. Thanks for doing this. Alright, are we done here now or what? No, let's talk some more. Hmm. About the clock over there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Can't you just fix the clock yourself? Nuh uh, that's a city clock. Any work on that has to go through the proper channels. Whole process usually takes two or three months. But once it does, ka ching. I ain't clever, but not dumb enough to fix it for free. Wow. Well, thanks for the help. Alright, so we figured out who broke the clock. It was the kids we just got the smokes for. Fuck you, mannequins. <laughs> uh. Raph says, ooh, because raccoons are thieves. Sure, sure, indeed. <laughs> hey. About that clock over there. Word is you're the ones who did it. Word is? What are you, fucking 45? Just because some random person blames some shit on us doesn't mean it was. That's really all you got? I'll get some more witnesses, but only because I want to. Let's see if we can get the con artists to snitch on them. About the clock over there, a hand is missing. Any idea who did it? I saw some of those awful teens hanging around it earlier. They were laughing too, and not the nice kind of laughing. The kind where you're up to something. Can you describe them a little more? They hang out in a group and all dress the same. One of them bumped into Leona yesterday and refused to say sorry. They just kept walking. Oh, I'll make them sorry. Real sorry. <laughs> Finally, now you're actually doing something useful. You hear that, Leona? They're gonna make those awful teens pay. <laughs> Look cool and intimidating. All right, we managed that. Now we gotta look for a few other, I wanna look for other people to take pictures of, like this person, man covered in snow. Need some help? Help? With what? Dude, you're covered in snow. Oh yes, well, that's just a necessary sacrifice I'm willing to make while testing out this little theory of mine. What's the theory? Hmm. I'm trying to determine if it's possible for one to establish a non-transactional relationship with geezers. Untransactional. Well, you see, every day for the past few years, I've been coming out here to feed the local geezers. Felt like we had established a rapport, a trust. Well, the other day I forgot to bring my trusty seed bag, and they looked at me like a common stranger. It's then that I realized that I might have just been a middleman to them all along. A bag bearer. Maybe they think you and the bag are one and the same. Without it, maybe they don't recognize you. An interesting hypothesis, and one not too far from my own. That's why I've hidden the bag, you see, and I'm staying as still as physically possible. And why exactly are you staying still? Mm. Well, I've seen plenty of geezers establish bonds with inanimate objects when there's nothing for them to gain. Statues, bike racks, fire hydrants. So I'm trying to discover if it's possible to develop a similar bond. And what are you hoping to get out of that exactly? Mm -hmm. I certainly don't expect to be writing any important papers on it, if that's what you're asking. It's interesting enough in its own right to think about geezers and their perception of the world, don't you think? Sitting here, motionless and observant, is a pleasant enough deviation from my normal routine. Normal routine as in... a job. Happily retired, thank you very much. And I'd wager you, since we're on the topic, don't even have a job to retire from. Let me guess, you're a student. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you're here for an assignment, I'm guessing, either photography or some sort of creative writing. Yep. I'm a photography major. Ah, oh, Thaddeus Rocker. I taught a few buildings down from yours, you see. The Chauncey Billingsley Department of Psychics. Of physics, <laughs> not psychics, oops. 
I'm guessing Chauncey was an odd one himself, but he was long before my time. I digress, though. Is there something you need? I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. All right, what can I do for you? Any idea what happened to the clock? Oh, yes, it's missing a hand, isn't it? Any idea who did it? I'm afraid not, no. I can keep watch for you from now on, but I doubt I'll be much help. You see, I seem to have come down with a mild case of snow blindness. <laughs> yeah, thanks anyway. Mm -hmm. Anything else I can help you with? Yeah, actually, there was one thing. I'd like to know a bit more about you. Do you still have some of that bird seed? I do, but it's sealed tight so as to not interfere with my little geezer gambit. If you weren't intent on feeding them today, why'd you even bring it? Hmm. Well, you see... No. Oh, that is a good question. For it's a habit, I perhaps... I don't suppose you need some bird seed. Sure, I'll take some off your hands. Splendid. Now make sure the geezers don't see you doing it, alright? Thanks. Now, let's get back to you. Hmm? Did you know Thaddeus Rock? Oh, I only met him briefly at the naming ceremony. Struck me as a terribly worried person. Obsessed with legacy. Something of a fool's game, if you ask me. Speaking of which, what do you think of his statue? I think he's making up for something. And what might that be? Nah, a misspent life? Hmm. Well, it wouldn't be the first. At least he's trying to make up for him. So many don't. Let's talk about something mm -hmm. else. Want to know a bit more about you? Uh, are you sure you don't want me to brush some of that snow off of you? You're very kind to of offer, but I'm quite all right. I'm cold, but at the same time, the snow's rather insulating. Keeps me warm. Of course, part of me is still fighting the temptation to brush it off. Really makes you cognizant of the moment. Uh, and you're saying it's a valuable experience? Hmm. I suppose I could tell you yes, or even no, but ultimately the thing about experiences is that they need to be experienced. Tell me, do you consider yourself someone who learns through experience or knowledge? Uh... Experience, I think. Mm -hmm. Never truly know something until you see it yourself, eh? Not necessarily a bad quality, not at all. It lends itself well to confidence, which is a similarly double-edged sword. How about yourself? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm an old and stubborn bastard, experienced, luckily. I'm old enough to have plenty of it by now, but I certainly remember plenty of occasions where I would have done well to take the word of others, too. How do you mean? Sometimes, son, you'll be so preoccupied with trying to do the right thing that you inadvertently end up causing hurt and grief. It's a self-centered stubbornness in the guise of being righteous or kind. And that's what you did? Many times over, gaining experience each time. Experience I hadn't needed if I'd listened. I see. Well, mind if I ask you something else? Uh, is there anything else to say? Why is worrying about legacy a fool's game? Because you have no real choice in the matter, and no way of knowing whether you succeeded. I just want to be remembered after I'm gone. But isn't that just extending the half-life of your obsolescence? All names are forgotten eventually. How many names do you know from before the creation of the wall? It all feels more like a contest to see whose death has the biggest echo. I think I get what you're saying. Listen, can I ask you about something mm -hmm. else? Any luck with the geezers yet? Not yet, but that might be due to the cold. I think it might be that they can see my breath. Throws off the statue motif I'm aiming for. Try holding your breath? <laughs> At my age? Shepard, no, I drop dead within a minute. <laughs> All right, so we got some geezer info. Maybe we should go feed them. Try to uh, patch up some of these these quests. We should go to the right first, though, because I need to burn that thing. The shepherd. If I was a god, I think I'd try to look less creepy. Raph said earlier, uh, if humans are called apes, what are actual apes called? There are no actual humans in this setting, um, but people believe the apes to be the closest thing to humans and thus the closest things to god. Hmm. Huh. Hello there, young man. I see you're not wearing a mask. It's winter solstice today, don't you know? I'm aware. That's why I'm out taking pictures. Pictures? On this holy night? Huh. What of, exactly? People, mostly. 
Make sure they're wearing their masks. Can't have someone running around ruining the sanctity of the occasion by making people reveal themselves. Yes, sir. Uh, huh. So you've come to warm yourself by the fire? Uh, it is kind of nice, actually. This is the flame of the shepherd, my boy. The start and the end of all things. We are made by fire and we die in flame. This warmth is what sustains us. The love of the shepherd. You see, many seek out the comfort of the shepherd without wanting to devote themselves to him. They think it's a comfort given to them, but no, it has to be earned. Earned how, exactly? Like I said, by devotion. By living a virtuous life. Following the tenets of the scripture. By singing his praises. I'll be honest with you, Gramps. I don't really know the scripture. Then read it, boy. Ignorance is no excuse for indolence. And eloquence is no substitute for wisdom. Hmm. Perhaps I judged you a little harshly, son. You may be clever, but intelligence is a virtue only when it's put to good use. Are you putting it to good use? That depends. I'd like to ask you about some things. Any idea what happened to the clock? I've been busy tending to the fire and the lost souls that gather around it. What other clock? It's missing a hand. Did you see anyone fiddling around with it? I certainly saw those young women standing around it earlier. Smoking, swearing, deviants, all of them. What is the younger generation coming to, I ask? I don't know. You tell me. They seek acceptance from their peers in all the worst ways. Delinquents and mischief makers. Smoking at that age? I'll wager they haven't been to church in years. Mark my words, I'll pray for them and their families. Yeah, smoking at that age? That's the world coming to, huh? Not me, though. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy, chat. <laughs> Mind if we keep this conversation going? I'm really enjoying it myself, if you couldn't tell. I've got this envelope I'm supposed to destroy. Mind if I throw it in the fire? You must understand, this isn't just a bonfire. It's a beacon of the shepherd's light. Oh, sorry. Mind if I throw this envelope in the beacon of the shepherd's light? <laughs> Toss it, grin, and run away. It depends on what you're burning. Oh, you know. Sinful stuff. Hmm. Go ahead. Thanks. You burned Lincoln's envelope. We did a good thing for him. Hoping to talk to you. So this whole shepherd thing. Winter solstice? That's right, night coming. The dark eve, the winter solstice. The coldest and darkest day of the year. A night of victory for the shepherd and defeat for all the unholy. The flames triumph over the night. Night of victory? Well, as scripture teaches us, the dark goddess of the night came three times to steal from the shepherd. First, she came for his staff, hoping to break and disparage all order and justice. The shepherd fended her off and sent her back into the darkness. Mm-hmm. Then what? Then, she came for his flame to rob his followers of his warmth and care. Again, the shepherd fought her off into the night. What about the third time? There's always a third time. Third time, she came for both, as well as his light. But when the shepherd fought her off once more, she realized that light, warmth, and order are all concordantly opposed to the night. There's no way for her to beat him. Let's go, shepherd. Kick her ass. Instead, she now comes for his followers. During the darkest night of the year, when her malice and jealousy culminates, the dark goddess creeps into the shadows to spread lies and doubt, hoping to turn us against the shepherd. And you believe all this? Of course I do. It's right and righteous. Even if it were only a parable, you would do well to listen to it. Learn something. What's the moral of a story where your god allows you to get spied on and lied to? A shepherd believes in you and me. What is our faith and our devotion worth if it was never tested? If virtue was easy, it wouldn't be virtue. I'm just saying, it doesn't seem like a kind and loving god would let his worshippers deal with that kind of shit. 
Spare the rod, spoil the child. Well, I've had plenty of rod, and I'm still fucked up. Hmm, language. Fine, let's talk about something else. Alright, so I can't take a picture of them, and they don't really seem to like me. Huh. Pretty sure Freya's got a statuette of her in the dorm. Nice. I'm a messy king, too. Oh, God. Howie. I'm gonna take a picture of Larry if I can. Uh huh. Yeah, Howie? You doing okay? Me? Yeah, all good. Something on your mind? How's your final project going? Yeah. It's going shit. At least, I don't have to do any field work like this. I'm like halfway through, I'd say. It was something along the lines of the influence on classical art by lower kinds, right? Yep, that's about it. Didn't think you'd remember. Can I help you with it? <laughs> nah, you're good. Getting out like this is a nice break, honestly. So that's already more than enough. You probably need a little bit of help with it, though. <laughs> what? So you can make fun of my grammar and sit around trying to poke holes in my arguments? Guess again, loser. I thought you liked that. Wanted to ask you about something else, though. Be honest, man. Is this a good idea for a final project? Uh... Taking pictures of people? I mean, that all depends on who we're taking pictures of, right? Then who should I take pictures of? Or ask around, man. I see a lot of possibilities here, and I'm not even a photographer. You do? Uh... Dude, there's people everywhere. Pretty sure we saw a guy covered in snow, and that bonfire looked pretty sick. It's dark, but the lighting is great, too. Quit making excuses. You're a photographer. Take photographs. All right, fine. Let's get to it. So, yeah, Larry's looking down the alley. And if you have played the original, you'll know that Larry is a homeless drug addict by the time the original goes on. So, that's a whole thing. It's a little sad. How come you guys are hanging out in the street? I'm just saying, it has to be cold. I'm cold at least. Here fellas, have some birdseed on the house. The geezer swarmed a handful of birdseed, picking away at it. You served your purpose, now they only need you for seed. <laughs> some people only need me for seed. You know, some people don't like you geezers much. Trying to see if there's a way I can, like, get more information. One of you isn't moving. Is he okay? The geezers look back at a still, uh, a still goose lying amongst them. It would be macabre, but upon closer inspection, you notice it's just a geezer plushie, a child's toy. Take that. There. Now another thing. Huh. I can't seem to get them to interact, but I can probably give the toy to the mom and the daughter. I probably did this entire section completely incorrectly, like out of order. And now it's just not letting me do the interactions. I don't need that picture anymore, but I did get rid of the envelope for you. You did? Thanks, kiddo. I appreciate it. Just let me know if you ever have a clock that needs fixing or something. No problem. I burned the letter like you asked. Oh, thank the shepherd. I know I'm probably being paranoid, but these building managers tend to have eyes everywhere. Time to strike a pose, pal. <laughs> Take another picture of him, I guess. Interesting that it cuts out the video on the stream while that happens. I'm gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to get the geezers over to the old man. I don't really need that picture anymore, but you can have this toy I found anyway. Let me see that. Oh, that's a pricey one, too. Here, Leona, look at what that nice rich boy got you. My pleasure. Do you have the receipt as well? I don't have a receipt. 
I lost it. Lost it? I can't return this without a receipt. What am I supposed to do with this stupid thing? You could give it to your daughter, like you said. Ugh, I can't believe we wasted all this time reeling you in. We were having such a good day until now. Let this be a lesson to you, Leona. Always judge a mark by their clothes. Their clothes never lie. I have really nice clothes. You actually believe that, don't you? I can't believe I didn't see it. Now beat it, you pest. We're losing daylight. My name's Howard, not pest. Ugh, and so dim too. What an amazing payday you could have been. Now seriously, get lost. <laughs> About that clock tower over there. Everyone's saying they saw you take it. Psh, everyone? Balls. Come on, guys, I just need... <laughs> Balls my ass, just admit it. Uh-huh, uh -huh. fine. It was us. So what, you fucking figured it out, narc? Why'd you do it? Why not? It's a huge waste of money and it's tacky as shit. Plus, it's pretty sweet watching losers like you freak out about what happened to it. So what now, you gonna turn me in or something? Of course not. I just want the piece back. <laughs> All right. Under what condition? Before you put the hand back, I want you to take this felt pen and draw a big dick under the hour hand. That way, we'll be long gone before anyone sees it. Time passes to reveal a fat chode. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> That's ridiculously funny. You want it written in cursive or normal? Just do it, man. All right. All right. <laughs> Get to draw balls on a on a deface a public monument. Investigate the clock. Examine the area around the clock. You shuffle around the steam clock for a moment, but fail to discern anything of value. Uh, the fact that it hasn't caused more commotion yet proves that much, but evidently long ago for any tracks of the snow to be stomped down. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> once the hand is clicked into place, it pauses briefly before once again picking up the pace and ensuring the passage of time continues unfettered. Good to have you back, Papa. Yeah. <laughs> there it is, all fixed up. All ready to tell the time. We did it, man. What a weird thing to spend an evening on. All that matters is that we got to hang out, Larry. <laughs> we spend every evening together, man. Usually, anyway. You gonna take a picture of that clock or what? Not yet. I'm savoring the moment. <laughs> Uh huh, sure. Go right ahead. Done? No? Give me a moment. How about now? No. Are you done yet? Shh. Savoring. Howard! Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I wanted to take a picture of Larry, because I like Larry. Well, what do you think? Was it worth it? Well, no for a bit. I trust you, man. You wouldn't take a bad picture. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. So, did you take all the shots you wanted? Are we done here? Yeah, looks like that was the last one. Larry, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. That whole ordeal with the hand? What'd you make of it? No, Larry, there's something else. Mm -hmm. I think I want to get more serious about dating. What's there, seri what's there to get serious about? I thought we already covered this, man. You're doing weirdly okay. Somehow, deep inside that nerdy, dorky exterior, there's a smooth-talking, flirty Howard. I'm talking about serious relationships, staying with someone. Yeah. Oh, right. Getting serious about dating in that kind of way. Well, I get it. Did you, like, have someone in mind? What do you think about Wisconsin? What? I, uh, I think you can give it a shot, sure, if that's what you really want. I have to ask, though, is that all you wanted to tell me? What are you getting at, Howie? What if we don't end up moving in together? You and me, I mean. Oh.
I'm not saying we shouldn't, just consider all our options. Right, right, yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's fine, Howie. Always good to have more options, I think. But we wouldn't stop being friends, that's not an option. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Obviously, I know that, man. I just I wish it didn't have to get so serious. I don't feel like I'm not quite ready for all that. I could do with like three more years of university, I guess. I feel you, man. Eh. Either way, don't worry about it. We'll do it one day at a time, I guess. I'll come over and beat you up, and you can come over to my place, and I'll beat you up there, too. All right, I can live with that. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Whatever happens, I'll be around for you, and you'll be around for me, all right? Of course, man. <sighs> then let's not worry about what will and what won't happen, all right? Nothing's going to break us apart, okay? Howie and Larry, forever. That's it. That's right. Feel any better? Yeah, I think so. Eh. Good. We'll be fine. Now we can get off the street. I swear, it's getting colder and darker by the minute. Hey, I love you, man. I hope you know that. Yeah, I do. Now move, jackass. I'm freezing. Sure, man. Uh, I just want an alternate universe backbone where Howie and Larry get together and stay together forever and then have beautiful children and then love them and care for them until they die of old age in each other's arms. That's the story I want. That's not the story we get, but it's the story I want. <laughs>